All right, hey everybody, we're back for round 18. And wow, look at that, a new number one in the standings. Oh. Femi Awawade is up there with 11 and a half wins. Femi's been hanging around the top group in a while. Austin, Femi is representing the UK in this tournament, so surely you have some experience uh, with with Femi. Yes, I have a lot of experience with Femi. Um, he's um, one of the most uh, decorated uh, Nigerian scroll players in history, um, and he moved to the UK, I think, maybe 30 years ago. Um, and yeah, he when I was living in the UK, he only lived like maybe 20 minutes away from me. So we always used to play in the same tournaments. We used to play a lot. Um, and yeah, he's just a generally very strong player, very experienced player. And um, I went to travel to Nigeria twice to play in the uh, God's Will Fabio uh, tournament uh, over there. And I went with him. Um, he was basically my bodyguard the whole time. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've always, uh, you know, always had a soft spot for Fami. And um, he's, uh, I'm very glad to see him at number one. And he is nicknamed the champ for that reason. Yeah, that's as Weibin notes in the chat, the champ. And we will see if he will be the champ. We haven't seen Femi on stream yet, but we do have another uh, Tega game to watch, this time with Oshavire Avwanaga, who just won his previous game. We'll correct that record. He is up now to 10 and 7, so still in the thick of things. Everything is all just bunched up. Femi in first place, Tega and Emmanuel Mujose at 11 wins, and then an incredible number of players at 10 wins. Let's count them. Olatunde, Olatunde, Edda, Wellington, Opayemi, Hakim Olare Bigbe, Oshavire, Sahid Jimo, Dennis Ikikaregor, and James Aruje. So that's nine different wow. players with a tie at 10 wins apiece. That is incredible parity amongst all these players. They are yeah. really tightly clustered around that uh, 500 mark. So um, that's just amazing. The parity that we're seeing here is pretty, pretty impressive. It is completely bonkers, actually. I cannot remember a tournament that I've competed in being so clustered up like that nobody starting you know as as you said austin pulling tega back to the pack with that last loss is really important just because everyone's all bunched up together exactly and with this being a 24 game tournament before the final uh the seven games left and with so many people uh kind of clustered like that together anyone that even six on going uh, in Last it was very important. Everyone all depends now. Um, of course. So unfortunately, only bits and pieces of that last assertion oh. <laughs> um, came through, at least on my end. But I think what you were saying was, with a few games left, seven games remaining. Um, going six and one is going to be enough for almost anybody, even with 10 wins to secure that spot. Was that, um, sort yeah, of the gist? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're all, they're all, uh, you know, one win for you and one, one loss for everyone else they're yes. all around you. So it's going to be huge. Very true. So looks like the players have bagged it up. Tega going first, Oshaviri to respond. And, uh, let's see. Yep. Tega's got his tiles. His clock is running. Not for long, I suspect. As soon as he looks at his <laughs> tiles, we're likely to see him select something. And uh, hopefully the rack uh, manager on that side of things is going quickly because... Um, it's taking too long already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, Vogue? Yeah, I think Kog is going to come down. And there it is. So obviously, Tega just very quickly, you know, making this play um i think the reason the only reason he would have waited at all is because he had a blank right if you would have had any other tile well not any other tile i'm sure there were certain other ones that you might have had but uh the blank slowing him down just a little bit to, to where he um made his play in 30 seconds it looks like oshavire exchanged tiles i'm not sure it's back to tega's turn now he may not have pressed the clock is that 
maybe he didn't press it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little... I'm confused by this because, yeah, he must not have hit the clock um, correctly, which is odd. And, yeah, Delirium, as you say, Austin, through the U of Kogue, it looks like that's going to escape Oshavire's notice here. If ever there... If there was one... Yeah, it could be a fake out. <laughs> but if ever there was a player who, if he missed hitting his clock for a turn, it's not going to matter. It would be Tega, who's playing lightning fast. He's not going to miss that minute, seemingly. True. Um, Tega Hope didn't hit the... Clock. the oh, Physics says Tega didn't hit the clock a few times and gave Eda extra time, and it might have cost him the game. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Um, so anyway, Kog is the play responding with Dim here, but Delirium available with those tiles through the U of Kog. Um, and now I'm so curious. We gotta, I gotta get this quackle screen off the board because there are some cool, cool plays Ooh, that yeah. Tega might have here. We'll see what he opts to do. But this rack looking uninspiring at first with the three O's, but there are a number of really interesting plays that he can make. I'm so curious what he's going to do here. Yeah, I think one of them is with the uh, very high scoring tile also. That's the buying. That's correct. Yeah, that would be the craziest <laughs> move for him to make here. I don't Funny know. That was the first one I saw. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, if you if you know the word, so the word Austin is referring to here. See if I can sneak the analysis board in here. Is zoospore. <laughs> That would be pretty insane to play this play with a blank Z, but the reason you might think about it is that the word without the Z is also valid. You could play this word, uospor. Um, absolutely crazy, uh, either one of these plays. I, this is, so we, we already know that Tega is a really, really fast play finder and an accurate play finder. He knows where to look for the good plays, but the one, the real question is, how deep does his word knowledge go? Is he going to be able to locate a play like this, which is not the most probable word? Um, that's a that's sort of another, you know, that's something where there's no substitute for preparation for words like that. Yeah, and yeah, it is also a matter of like, does he know? I would say Zeusball. Um, it's actually, I'm just looking at it right now, it's actually 33,000 in terms of probability, and it's about 42,000 eights. So this is probably in the bottom 20%. Um, so it depends if he's got that far down the list and if he actually sees it right now, and this is the time to play it. Um, but there is also another bingo that hits the triple on the E, I believe. Um, Correct. I don't know how you pronounce it. Soporos, Soporos. I guess. Soporos, yeah, Soporos. Um, some kind of alternative of the word soporous, which I think I've actually oh. heard that word as like, that's, you know, it's, it's a variant of like soporific, which means sleep inducing or something that's so oh. boring that you're getting tired, which hopefully is not something you would say of this stream. All right, what's he doing here? Thank oh you. my Bye. God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, that's, crazy good that's just so nice <laughs> zoospore i mean is there any chance that he's designated the blank something different right because this is a word um so this is a word uh, i've defined it in the chat Nuosphere, right like it's not impossible maybe he could get those mixed up because uosphere is also a word so, all right, either way, Oshavire is completely unfazed. He immediately plays Iwi, which looks like a pretty good choice on his part. But wow, I'm I'm really impressed, Austin, by Zoospore. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> um, amazing. Yeah, I mean, also the difference between Zoospore and Soporos is that the S would be on H1, and it'd be a lot easier to bingo to the triples with the S like that rather than Zoospore, where you're putting the Z at the top um and that's basically the reason why it was probably slightly better in that sense it's a really good point the s for reasons of the english language being the way it is is certainly the most frequent ending letter in eight letter words in any length of words 
Um, and in this particular situation, placing an S right here in this spot is going to yield bad results at times, as Austin said. It's a really good point. And that's, I mean, seeing Soporos would have been impressive enough, but that's just uh, really next level stuff. As we see Lytic be played here, um, this makes some sense, of course, with the three eyes on the rack, it's, you know, it, it's tough to leave two eyes, but actually this is the, the oh, maybe a hold, um, but this is the only play that scores 20 or more points on this move for him. There's not, yeah. there's nothing else like the, the only other play that scores anything at all is try here, leaving mm. three eyes. So Lytic yeah. at least gets you an one eye off the rack. It's probably the best play here. Again, Tega plays it pretty fast. Definitely. Yeah, try is definitely a no bueno. <laughs> There's too many eyes there. I think you're better off exchanging than probably playing try, but Lytic, I think, is is the play here. So over to Oshavire. His, la his rack looks pretty good. He has decent bingo tiles, but the K and the two Ls kind of get in the way um hey thank you very much oh sorry physics yeah i noticed i was a little slow in the scores we fixed that up now thank you very much to gov598 i really appreciate that um and also a, a huge thanks to austin for joining me here as well so all right leak cool. interesting leak is the play here um i was looking for i was really hoping that we might see something with a k here i was still looking for something nice going down but maybe there isn't anything that playable in that spot um, yeah maybe i think i think ake is really the only playable thing that goes there but the leave is just horrific two, so, just two l's is, yeah. yeah i mean it's just very uninspiring to keep the two l's so um i doing? don't know he oh, is what? okay he's gonna play ache it does score 40 oh. l l l r s He's played it. I don't know. There's that's a great, obviously a great score, forty points. You love to see a score of forty points on your move, but I don't know. I might have liked to see. Oh, oh sorry, Tega's making a play. We gotta make <laughs> Ooh, sure. Nice. Airily plays it nearly instantly. Very that quick. looks really good. Yeah. Um, assuming he didn't miss. Nope, that's definitely the best play by a lot. Tega's playing awesome. <laughs> he plays so fast. Um, yeah. how, old is Ta how old is Ta how long has he been playing I need I need more info on this guy from Tega fans in the chat because um, this is somebody to look out for I feel he's playing so fast he played Zoospore so clearly his word knowledge is, is definitely up there and he's really showing showing us something here just roll Wow. Okay, so his rack, yeah, that rack is not fully updated from the previous turn, but given that he left, okay, there it is. Uh, okay. Um. So yeah, roll looks like it makes a little more sense here. Um. Try to get in a little analysis before Tega plays here, but there was actually a pretty epic play of showerer here for 36 leaving ll which is quite a bit more points that being said it says a lot that roll is very close to that in equity right so even though it scores 30 fewer points ehrs is so much better equity that it's almost a similarly valuable play that's that's amazing but true so roll yeah. is the play. I mean, what do you, what do you think about that? I mean, thirty points for showerer versus roll, Austin. Yeah, the study six versus six, a study whole point. That's a lot of a lot of points to give up. Um, and maybe two hours. You know, it might be worth it in this case. Um, and he was slightly behind, so maybe he needs to just kind of keep the score kind of running. Um, but with roll, um, it's kind of worked out well for him. He now has a bingo on his rack. It has. He's about yeah. To play it. Yep, and uh, he quickly is about to get that bingo down. Looks like he's going to play Sheer. I don't know whether this is Shearer or Sheared. I'm going to guess that it's probably Sheared. Um, interesting positioning on this, though. I feel like there were a lot of different 
areas of the board where he could have played bingos here. Um, meanwhile, also Tega's previous play of Vow, he played it very fast, and it looks like a very good play for him, undoubling his A's and U's and using up the V just to make sure that we get some analysis in on all of his plays. But yeah, Sheard, um, not sure what the blank will be. But there were other options here. He could have played with Kogs if he wanted to, but that would have put many more letters out in open space. So I do prefer his positioning here. But then there were a handful of bingos here that I kind of like um, that score a significant amount more points. Um, something like that. Here's another interesting play, Herodes. So a couple plays that might have worked out slightly better. Blank is labeled an R. Um, so that's interesting. There is no, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, let me just make sure I don't miss any plays. Um, there is obviously shearer is an adjective. I don't believe there are any hooks to that. So, um, makes, makes sense. And we're going to see a pretty quick play for Tega putting that F in the good spot. Yep. Gonna read the U as well. So that's a pretty solid play again. I don't know if there's anything through that E of Shiro or not to the triple, but I don't see it, anything. It appears not, amazingly. So as Austin points out, we would definitely be wanting to look through this spot right here and see if maybe there's a six-letter word, but there really wasn't anything. Um, so fur looks like a perfectly reasonable play. Another idea that, that's basically equivalent is to play H-O-U-F right here. Ooh. Yeah. Um, that has some merit to it because you leave A-R-T after that play, which is a very nice, flexible bingo leave. At the same time, you would simultaneously be blocking all of your best lanes. Um, so, well, the E of Shearer is pretty well blocked by now, so it's not, not that big a concern. But Fur is a good play for sure by Tega. Let's give yeah. the points to the players here. Scoreboard, yeah. Okay, it's when 46 behind. Okay, and he's now got a Q. Uh, he could just drop the Q next to Lytic for 21 if he wants. True. Um, but yeah, not seeing a great deal either. Yeah. To be honest with you, not many options. Yeah, that Q is re rearing its head as it does so often as just a un... un oh, wow, what's coming here? Oh, maybe not. Something way off the beaten path was about to go down there. Was he thinking about playing like Epode or something? Is or he gonna Hodge or something, maybe? Dope. This Ooh. would be this would be very odd. What yeah, an interesting behind. yeah, what an interesting he is behind. So I guess maybe he likes setting up these hooks with dope, but I don't love setting up these hooks while holding Q E G. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good either. Not sure what he's going to try and uh, achieve with this move, to be honest. Um, but yeah, in the chat, um, we've been said Epode um, on the yeah. E of Shear, which kind of does a much better job of um, getting Sorry. rid of those four tiles anyway and yeah. more points. Yeah, for sure. So Epode would have played across there to the triple as I was trying to painstakingly draw. Let's do just an arrow. <laughs> so Epode yeah. there, but uh, with those very same letters. But man, I would be tempted to just burn that Q and hope for the best. Um, and anyway, Heat. Heat is the play scoring quite nicely. That looks pretty blocky. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there a way of keeping slightly better? Oh, he's picking it up. Interesting. All right, let me put dope on the board where it is. Give the points to Oshavire. He's not down by very much. Um, yeah. Both players, I have to say, Oshavire has 18 minutes, but part of that is because he didn't hit his clock when he took several minutes to start the game. So I feel like Tega should get extra credit he still has 16 minutes, even though his clock was running for two minutes of Oshavire's <laughs> time, which is pretty in incredible. So he's looking through all of these spots. He's eventually going to settle on heat. That looks like a pretty good place to play. I wonder if there isn't... So maybe the one improvement that I could see on that would be tithe in Ooh, the yeah. same spot. Looks like it's, a, it's just a few more points 
Heat is certainly a solid option. It's right up there towards the top, but maybe just a little bit of an improvement there. Um, and Kat goes down immediately for Oshavire, wasting absolutely no time. That looks like it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, we've got to look out for the um, through the E of Dope and the R of Shira. Any sort of ERS words that can go there, um, or even four timers that actually could play through the ER and an S for making heat. Um, which looks like Tego might not be a million miles away from. That's if a he, great uh, kind of point. Gets a bit closer to that. Yeah, great letters for Tega here. He, oh, wait, I'm seeing an F. an F. Yeah, there's an F. So one of those E's. Must be an, yeah. Is he about to play Fears? Yeah, probably. So I'm assuming that one of the E's is actually an F. <laughs> F's in the chats. <laughs> um so yeah, fears for 38, that looks pretty good. Another idea though, that looks kind of nice that I would be sorely tempted by would just be foe in the upper corner if this was really his rack. Scoring 26, leaving that S to try to hit dopes. But this is a pretty solid option as well. Scoring quite a few more points. Um, I was going to say it blocks the hooks of dope, but there certainly are plenty of words that still fit underneath the FE combination there. That's so, true. And even with um, Ashaveri um, playing dope earlier on, I don't know if you would potentially put him on some kind of hook that... He, he, why would he play dope? Like, if he had an S or a D or something, we, we can see here that he doesn't have either of those or ha didn't have it at that time. So it might be possible that he's kind of trying to score and block that uh, hook that he thinks that Ashaveri might have. Yeah. Um... That's a really good point. I certainly think that from Tega's perspective, he would not have guessed that Oshavire left QEG after <laughs> exactly. the play of Dope. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, back and forth battle here. Neither player. So Tega definitely in the lead. He's been up a decent amount for much of the last few turns. Um, but he's looking to land a knockout blow of a bingo here, potentially. Well, I guess if that were true... Maybe he's not thinking that way, or else if that were true, he wouldn't have played fears on the previous turn. I think he's looking to just sort of control yeah. the board as best he can, stay just enough ahead as he plays Fent. Yeah, he has Fent, and he also has Knitted underneath Cat as well. That would have fit there pretty nicely, but maybe he's thinking more defense at this stage. Yeah, play of Knitted suggested by Austin. That looks pretty nice. Um, this, this actually... Doesn't look like it opens a ton, right? This is actually kind of defensive in its own right. Fent yeah. is somewhat defensive, but it does open up a T as a pretty easy lane to hit. It blocks a lot of the underlaps underneath Gem, which is definitely worth something, but Knitted opens nothing. Um, yes. And it and preserves also, the, the, another end to play underneath there. So. Exactly, yeah. And like um, playing underneath Cat, it does actually give, there's an X hotspot there that we actually now can see that Oshima just picked up um, where the T would be a knitted. So um, it kind of blocks that possibility as well. Yeah, it's a really good point. So um, the X could just get plopped down in this spot for a solid 34 points. I'm going to guess when we cut back. Oh, no, it's Nox. a different play. Knox instead. Interesting. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Um, what would the merit be for this over Axe? I'm not really sure. Um, I guess... Yeah, I'm not sure either. I guess maybe they're... Oh, sorry, let me flip this board back so we can see Iwi. this play. Iwi, very nice. With the K already on the board. All right, hold on. I'm a player I'm a player two behind here. <laughs> they're playing too quickly. As is, yeah, that is... that. Iwi was clearly superior um, on that move for Tega. No surprise now. When there is a move like that, he seems to find it the vast, vast majority of the time. Um... Sorry, got to flip again. The scores are accurate. The board is flipped right. Um, at some point, there, there we go. There's the rack updated. Everything is a well-oiled machine at this point. Hopefully. We're going to tell Luke Mans to the, the players to slow down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Rashid in the chat. Hey, Rashid, great to see you. He says, Will, Tega has been around some for some time. He has word knowledge and is a very quiet young man. I met him first around 2010 when he was playing in the intermediate category, and I believe after that he was promoted to the master division. So, okay, 2010. That's a while. 
Um, I played my first tournament in 2009. Austin played his first tournament when he was negative 10 years old. <laughs> at, um, but Austin, uh, a, a former youth Scrabble, uh, I don't know whether we want to say star, cha champion. I'm not sure what, what word, but Austin's, Austin, you've been around a while in this game. I have, yeah. I've actually been playing um, in Thomas since 1998, so it feels like a long time. 1998. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's uh, almost coming up to a quarter of a century now. <laughs> I mean, if, while you know you were doing that, I was still playing word games pretty much nonstop. So I did, it just took me a while to find this word game, but I was doing much the same thing. So um, <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't claim to have just like burst onto the scene never having played word games. I was a very seasoned word game player, even when I started playing Scrabble. So, um, but uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Red Bull sponsorship there um, <laughs> being uh, promoted in the chat, definitely for a while. <laughs> definitely want to continue to just shout Austin out, definitely encouraging folks to to follow his channel as well, hoping to to get him some more followers out of this. He richly deserves it as a really entertaining streamer. Okay, Bent is the play for Oshavire there. I guess that's probably all right. Leaves GNS. That feels pretty good. Yep. Solid play. I don't think there was too much else that I was looking at as an option there. So, um, yeah, bent for Oshavire. What do we? What is Oshavire's pathway back here? Um, both blanks are out. Where is he going to actually get this bingo on this board? Maybe an um, ST play. Yeah. So the two spaces that are really kind of open right now are kind of with the T and Fent, and then there's that L of Airily. Um, the top left is kind of blocked up already. Um, there may be a spot on the left if you can open up with like Chin and some other ladder that can go with, uh, on that triple. But I think another part that you need to try and open is that bottom right somehow. If, if you get like a um, maybe like a six letter word from that X of Knox to the triple, open up another lane. Um, but really, we're kind of clasp, uh, kind of clasping at straws here in terms of like very good clear cut openings. Um, but maybe like putting something like. Um, yeah, wherever the, uh, with DEE, maybe creating another hook there, but it doesn't really score very much. I thought an um, ST an ST yep. play is somewhat reasonable to expect. That's there, also true. Which is also the only true. reason why bent on the previous turn. That's the only reason why I had some doubt about that because I really want to keep my ST combo for that spot. But otherwise, um, I really have no issue with that choice this is a very bold choice here by tega of course he's played co-ed putting the yeah. c this c right out into the open with no Move fear it. yeah um so that's a, a 30 extra points and you know i think with both blanks having been played it's not as threatening as it might be to place a letter like that out in space i'm sorry i hid the play that was made oh man have we got a content play? Oh. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god. Okay, folks. We have a content play. <laughs> I do I do feel like this will be relatively easy to respond to with something like Gazar here yeah. in response. Um that being said, um we love to see it. We love to see the big big S set up at the base of the board. Strictly, Although, strictly speaking, I don't know if this is correct, but yeah, sorry, Austin, go ahead. No, and but also Gazar could actually also give away more points. Oh, but he's look at that! that. Oh. Even better, much oh, better. Wow, what a play! Oh, That's man. insane. That is an amazing play. So Zabetta through BE that scores fifty-four points by far better than my suggestion of Gazar for yeah, thirty. Yeah, up right now too. And he for found sure. it instantly. He found it absolutely instantly. That's crazy. Yeah. It's amazing play. Getting challenged, yeah. This guy is good. Damn. Tega yeah, he's on fire. has come <laughs> to play that. at this tournament. I absolutely had not recognized him as a threat in this event, but he's playing at a level that I'm incredibly impressed by. I can't emphasize that enough. <laughs> Yeah, he's making pretty much no mistakes right now. Um, and if he can continue like this into tomorrow, he could end up being in the final. Got a very good shot at doing that.
He sure is. Right now he is in second place. He's on track to win this game by a pretty decisive margin. And uh, Oshavire has a seven-letter bingo on his rack that because the game, this this particular board is so constricted, doesn't seem like it has any chance of going down anywhere. Nyads with that extra E. <laughs> Time for uh, Wabin has a very creative suggestion there of um, trying to play something ending in the Z of Zoospore. I feel like I've looked this up before as we see Lad go down in the upper corner. Oshavire just doing his best to get one more bingo down. Um, there's only two in the bag now. If I had an opportunity okay. to show you guys, I will do that. Situation from um, Tega's perspective is this uh oh sorry it's maybe he'll flip yes he flipped the board yes exactly okay <laughs> that's what we wanted so two tiles in the bag nothing particularly scary in the unseen pool um i think tega is really home free here i should give a couple extra points to oshavire for that play um but yeah, this is looking like another win here for Tega with, well, he does have 10 minutes on his clock, but again, take two minutes from Oshavira and give him to Tega because he, <laughs> he deserves them. Yeah, I could um, see Asinine or Insaney as possible playable bingos from Tega's point of view. True. With, B, with BV in the bag, which would yeah. be kind of, uh, that's scary to draw that because it's a very heavy combination that will yeah. give a lot of points. Not seen much else though. Um, but if he just plays anything that scores a decent number, it doesn't really matter what what uh, what happens. To be honest, so, yeah. uh, he's got more more than enough uh, on the scoreboard. Yeah, up by 120, he should be good. He just has to dump that J right yeah. now. He has a pretty you know tailor made place to do that. Um, hold on, do I have my drawing. Uh, what happened yeah. to my drawing on? stream thing oh right okay it's on the side so yeah jar as austin says right here sorry i didn't realize um so yeah take it with nine minutes to calculate there's not a ton to calculate here but i mean this is definitely like this is another area where the nigels of the world make so much hay by having the patience and confidence or whatever you want to call it to actually iterate out these pre-end games and come up with the winningest sequence even in games that are decided right like that is difficult to do um i definitely take shortcuts from time to time in games that i have wrapped up like this do you where, where do you stand on that austin um i do try and um eke out as many points as possible obviously a lot of you know my 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 uh my slogan so to speak of scoring never stops so i always try and go right to the end it's so um, apt you really <laughs> it is such an apt slogan for you for so many reasons so austin even has uh you know scoring never stops like that like a like the nike slogan like you have shirts that have that emblazoned on it and it really is apt um for you because not only is it a game by game thing but as i was saying earlier i feel like there's just no scenario that is too dire for you to stop giving your best right you never stop um yeah. so hey alex in the chat yeah as austin already addressed um this is round 18 we're going to round 19 and 20 so two more games it's a 10 round day uh, that being said, I only joined the stream in round 13 today. So it's going to be eight rounds out of the 10 they've played today. I have I have a limit of how early I'm able to wake up and be cogent in the morning. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to test that limit and because, you know, the games are getting really important, exciting to determine who the finalists will be. So I'm going to go to sleep maybe right after the stream ends. I'll go to sleep <laughs> and uh, sleep for 10, 12 hours, wake up at 3 a.m., tomorrow morning and hopefully we get uh, good coverage of all these games but um yeah it's been a long stream i do i do have my mug i've been trying to drink my my water this is, this is my mug from my my college where uh it says that i'm a, <laughs> I'm a dad even though i'm technically not um 
I was going to say, I was like, are you telling us something? <laughs> do I have news? Yeah. Do I have news <laughs> yeah. to share with the stream? Um, so no, no big news like that. So Tega is still doing his um, analysis here. Let me just cut back and see if Oshavire's body language is as, you know, is, is he taking, taking this loss well? Is he dejected? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, sorry. That the verbiage may be a little confusing. Technically, I'm not. <laughs> technically, I'm I'm not a dad. Um, no, I, I I know of no offspring of mine out there. Um, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're wondering, you know, get get it get in touch with me. But I'm pretty sure there's. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm good. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, this is impressive patience from Tega given the pace it's such a stark change from the usual maybe he's retracking i'm i'm guessing that this time maybe he's cutting corners there right like how is he playing so fast maybe he's not even tracking until he determines that he needs to and then he just goes back and tracks the whole game is that possible so yeah i mean what i have noticed um with a lot of let's say african uh scrabble players is that sometimes they don't actually um track during the game or they track maybe at the midpoint of the game because maybe it's not that important or they just want to concentrate on playing the moves uh, and the inf information that you have is not like super super important at that stage so it's definitely possible that tager is um, maybe partially tracking or not tracking at all um, for parts of this game. And now he's just doing it now where it actually matters most in terms of knowing what's left in the bag. It's a good point. And the, one of the plays that we had imagined coming down, a jar, there, there it goes. Um, and are we going to see, oh no, we're just going to see IVs come down immediately in response. So that seemed like a play that Oshibire had queued up for a while. Um, just knowing that he doesn't have very much. And sure enough, that was a pretty good play. Actually, now Tega has three ends on his rack. So <laughs> it's kind of a funny finish to the game. Um, so the point of this, I actually think the idea behind this play of Ivy's is that Oshavira leaves IN on his rack, and he's probably wanting to play that right here with this. But I feel like with Tega having three ends of his own, he probably should just play UN in that spot to block it and just finish the game off. All of this is completely academic. It doesn't change a thing. This is a big blowout win for Tega either way. But yeah, I'm get yeah, um, that's correct. That is the the sequence, yeah. and he spots it and correctly plays it. Um, so yeah, Rashid confirming your hypothesis, Austin, um, about the the tracking. Take yeah. tracking. So yeah, I'm wondering how he could have uh, played this fast and track at the same time. Yeah, maybe if I wasn't yeah. tracking at all, I could get a few minutes faster. I guess. <laughs> um, but hey, it's working for him. He's playing really well. Um, yeah. Maybe that's kind of a scouting report type thing of like, if you know, the more you track successfully the better decisions you're going to make towards the end of a game and it seems like tega is making really good decisions at the start and midpoint of the game it also seems like he's making good decisions at the end of a game but if you're not tracking the whole game your decision making is going to start to be less and less accurate because it won't reflect the actual state of the unseen tiles until you get a better handle on that so maybe that's something who knows if that's going to rear its head um yeah um, looks like Oshiveri is already dying to leave, so he's already gone. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened. Hey, yeah, I mean, there are times when, you know, you have a tough loss in a game that you were really hoping to come out on top, which obviously everybody at 10 and 7 at this point, every game is critical. You might need to win the vast majority of your games from here on out. Um, every loss is going to hurt extra, you know, extra much in that case. But uh, sometimes, yeah, you do just want to get up, take a walk, shake it off, um, and move on to the next game. Which, exactly. um, and he didn't even use half of his time either, so he's uh, got plenty of time to do that, regroup. And it uh, looks like we've got six more games after this, so he pretty much has to win almost all of those if he wants to make the final. True. So um, curious to see. I don't think too many of the other games 
This game, again, ended with a lot of time on both players' clocks. So I don't think there's too many games that are in for this round. We're going to see Tega temporarily jump into first place pending Femi's result. Um, but lots of other games yet to be decided. So uh, just want to quickly address some of the chats here. Xmon407 says, I consider myself a good Scrabble player, but some of these words I have never seen. That's completely normal. That's a function of the dictionary we're using. Collins Scrabble words has a lot of archaic words, words from Scottish, words from Maori, South African slang, lots of stuff like that. Um, <laughs> CBB in the chat. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, Lake George results are potentially going to be coming in as well. So yeah, I don't know. Discussion about tracking as we go or doing it at the end of the game. It's really interesting. I guess, Austin, both of us are track one play at a time folks huh yeah definitely yeah i mean um to me it takes like an extra few seconds to do so if i can do it there and then might as well just knock it out <laughs> something tells me that if even if tega chose to track one play at a time it would <laughs> it would not slow him down terrifically much so it would only slow him down right at the end where exactly two minutes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so very impressed by him he comes away with a win here in this game against oshavire avwanaga I think the two of us are going to take another quick break as the rest of round 18 finishes up and we'll be back in just a bit with round 19. We have two more games and I am getting word that our round 19 matchup is Etta Caro versus Wellington Jigare. So Ooh. you are not going to want to go anywhere for that. The two top dogs in the Nigerian Scrabble scene, 2100 rated players basically are going to clash in just a bit. I'm very excited for that, Austin. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Big game coming up. Yep. All right, guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes with that game. Stay tuned.